The Narrow Road to the Deep North by Richard Flanagan. I'm going to try and review this book today. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to try. <laughs> This book is about a man named Dorigo Evans and he is an Australian surgeon. On one hand we see his life in Australia from his youth up until the end of his time but there is also another narrative strand and that focuses on his time in a Japanese prisoner of war camp on the Thai Burma Death Railway. Although Dorigo is the main character of this story there are a lot of other focalizers that we meet both in Australia and in this prisoner of war camp. The Narrow Road to the Deep North is a beautiful book. This book had such a profound impact on me and I feel like it kind of just crept into my soul without me even knowing it. I started reading the book and I was enjoying it but it probably wasn't until after halfway through this book that it really started to take its toll. I would read a passage, I'd read a sentence and I'd have to stop. I'd have to close the book and just think about things. I'd think about everything. I'd think about life. I would think about the story, the characters, what they're being put through. I just have to take a few minutes to process everything. It happened quite a few times and it just really resonated with me. I, I just needed to take a step back and breathe for a minute. I'm still struggling to actually process this book. I'm struggling to review this book. I think this was partially due to the writing as well. It was just so unassumingly powerful. It's not overly embellished or anything, but there was just something about it that really struck me at times and I just needed to take that step back. It's so gritty and bloody and vivid. I felt like I was in that prisoner of war camp. I felt like I was witnessing everything that was happening. Everything was just so clear in my head. There's this quote in the book that I feel kind of describes itself in a way, well at least how it impacted me. A good book, he had concluded, leaves you wanting to reread the book. A great book compels you to reread your own soul. One thing I also really appreciated about Richard Flanagan's writing style regards the characters and how we get to know them. Whilst Dorigo is our main character, we do meet and get to know a lot of the other characters as well, particularly in the prisoner of war camp. Not only some of the other captured soldiers, but also the Japanese and Korean men running the camp. So I would be introduced to someone new and in a paragraph or two, I felt like I knew who they were. Richard Flanagan was able to capture this person's character in such a short amount of time and it didn't feel rushed at all. It just felt so natural through these anecdotes and how that particular character reacts to a situation or the things that they do. I just felt like I really understood them, who they were, their motivations. All of these characters were just so unique and I feel like they were fleshed out quite effortlessly, just so quickly and easily. I really came to empathise and even in some cases sympathise with so many of the characters. I mean, they all had their flaws. Some of them were worse than others. Some of the characters I thought were despicable human beings. I don't know, just getting inside their head and understanding why they did the things that they did. I just thought it was really quite interesting, especially in the cases of those characters who I didn't see a lick of humanity in them. And if we take Dorigo Evans himself, he's definitely not a perfect man. He is extremely flawed and a lot of the things that he does, particularly his womanizing, I don't agree with, but I just felt like I really got to know him and I kind of learned to love and appreciate him as a character in a way. I just think the characterization in this book was incredible. In terms of the story itself, I don't even know where to start. There's so much going on. It's about Dorigo Evans's life, but so much more. Because we see so many of the other characters, we get a lot of their backstory as well. There's just so much that happens and so much that we learn in this book. Towards the beginning of the book, I found that things were a little hectic because there's a lot of jumping around between time periods and it's not just back and forth between two. It kind of moves around as well. But I think it worked really well, particularly when it came to Dorigo and the affair that he had with his uncle's young wife and just that relationship and the impact that that woman Amy had on Dorigo's life. It was just such a beautifully crafted book that really made me think a lot <laughs> about so many things both within the story and outside of it, outside of this world and the characters. I loved it so much. Definitely a five out of five stars from me. It really did just kind of creep up on me. It embedded itself in my brain 
quite deeply and I didn't even realize it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have read this book, I would love to know what you thought of it. If it impacted you as much as it did me, I don't even understand why or how. Yeah, so that's all that I have for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!